Hello Leo, welcome to your January 2019 general love reading. Please keep in mind it is general, it's definitely not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, please keep in mind you can check your moon and rising signs and that's not a bad idea anyway as it will give you a much bigger, more well-rounded view of the time period. Now, it is January. I have been doing these love readings every two weeks. From this point forward, I'm going to try something different. I would like to do them once a month because I want to do up different videos for you throughout the month and I needed to clear up some time. So this is how I'm doing it. Uh, that being said, I want to thank you so much for your response in the extended readings being $2.22. Because of your great response, I've decided to leave them at, at that same price. However, that being said, the four-week time period for the readings now means that instead of having to go in there twice and purchase your extended reading, you go in there once a month. So the extended will now be $4.44 because you're getting four weeks rather than two weeks. Um, I want to thank you for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want notification when my videos come up. Now, that being said, I think we're ready to move on. I've laid them out the way I always do. Three across, three down. The center card is your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck card. This is your possible outcome. This card up here is where we're beginning, so it's your now-ish, okay? Time is fluid, so give or take. Just give me a quick second to take a look at the spread. Okay, I'm going to start off with your overall energy. The center of the spread, you have the judgment card, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the death card. Okay, so the death card is, it doesn't represent actual death. It's about transformation. It's about transitioning into a new time period in your life, a new way of being, a new you. Um, it's transformation. The judgment card is, it, sometimes it can represent actually making a judgment call. But for me, it's generally a karma Card. It represents karma, and it would be something that you believed to be dead and done with, over, gone, coming back to life, okay? So, for me, that tells me that the overall energy of this reading is you wanting something, you want to transform something that you believe to be dead back into being. You want that transformation, whatever it is. It's going to be different for all of you, but whatever it is, that's what you want. Now, in the spread, the first card you have is the Four of Cups. Another four, Four of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords. The Ten of Cups, that's a great card to have. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, this is your person. This would be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? Could be an energy. And you have the Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Coins, or Eight of Pentacles. You have a few pentacles here. And you have in your possible outcome position the Three of Wands. The 
So some of you have been disappointed in love. Now this could be, for some of you it could be in the past. Some of you it could be twofold. It could be that you're disappointed with love, something, a relationship from the past, as well as one that you're currently in. For others, it's, you know, it, it could be you're disappointed in love because of something from the past. You're disappointed just in the relationship you're in now. The Four of Wands is telling me that you have come together with someone. You are in a relationship for the most part. You're in a, most of you are in a relationship now. That is the coming together card. It's all about engagement, marriage, committed relationships. Some of you are disappointed in a relationship where you've married, you're engaged, or you know maybe you moved in with someone. Seven of Swords is known as the sneaky card. For me, I don't like to call it the sneaky card because for me, sometimes it represents just not seeing not seeing something for what it is, not seeing, not seeing it coming, a situation. Um, you know, when you, some of you are maybe disappointed in a, in a committed relationship you're in because you didn't see far enough ahead. You didn't take the time to, um, maybe, maybe you rushed into the relationship and you didn't get to know each other well enough so you didn't see all there was to see so you see where you know if i if i was reading that as a sneaky card i would say that you had snuck in somewhere taken something um and and maybe some of you did maybe some of you got into a long-term relationship and didn't show your true self and that's how because you wanted this long-term relationship you wanted this engagement you wanted the marriage you wanted the person to move in with you so you weren't quite fully honest about things with that person and that that could be for some of you it can go the other way too though it like i said it can be that you jumped into this long-term relationship without really knowing what you were getting into because it happened fast okay um possibly the other person didn't didn't let you see or didn't let you know all there was to know about them so there was sneakiness there to some degree you wanted the happiness you wanted the ten of cups is such a beautiful card especially in love relationships you you're disappointed because you thought that's what you were getting into you thought this was the one that's why it, it moved so fast but now you're disappointed and because of that you're wanting something that you believed maybe an old relationship an ex someone that um possibly this person virgo uh, capricorn or taurus you want something back with that person because where you're at right now there's no balance. There's no reciprocation. It it feels like either you're doing all the work in this relationship and it's not working out, or you just don't want, you just don't want to work on this anymore. And your your possible outcome is that you're you're waiting. You're waiting for, you know, if this is your person, some of you are waiting for that person to come back. And that's what you're wanting. For others of you, you feel like you're doing all the work in this relationship and in doing so, you're just kind of sitting back waiting to see how this goes, waiting to see if it transforms because whatever it is, it it's dead. It, this new beginning that you had, this committed relationship that you got into, it feels like it's died. 
and possibly the other person moved on to someone new or wants to or you want to move on to something new and you're just waiting you're waiting to see this is um mm -hmm. it's kind of a confusing situation for me i'm feeling a little confused so i'm assuming that that's how you are feeling leo you're a little confused by all of this that's going on so let's clarify some cards here. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords angels. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Whoa, 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 too many cards, way too many cards. I hope you all can hear me now. I had a few complaints about my audio not being very loud. So I'm now having to use a lapel mic, which I'd rather not have to do, but for some reason, you know, my phone takes really good video, but it's, it sucks in the audio department. So let me know in the comments, someone, please, that you don't all have to leave this comment, but if someone could please leave the comment uh, to let me know if you can hear me better now. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Whoop. Okay, angels are finding that perfect card for the Seven of Swords. And there they are. Okay, we have three. Okay, so... Uh, I feel like this is your person because we have the hermit which is Virgo that represents Virgo and Virgo is a queen of queen or king of Pentacles now keep that in mind this could be a queen or a king because it's general right so it can be flipped then we have the page of Pentacles and we have the queen of cups so for some of you this queen of cups could be your person this could be the person you're with now and this um, Queen of Pentacles is the person you were with that it ended and you want to bring it back around. You want it to, to transform and come back to life. Um, Page of Pentacles for me represents you um, wanting your desires to manifest into the real world. You're wanting what you're desiring, what's in your head. You want that in your life. You want it to become a reality. And you've got... So either, for some of you, you're going within and you're really trying hard to manifest this into, into reality, whatever this is. But being that it's clarifying the Seven of Swords... It could be that what you desired with this Virgo, if that was your, your old person, what you desired with them didn't, didn't, it didn't work out. I mean, it, it's over, it ended, right? So it didn't work out. So you moved on to a new person. This would be Queen of Cups or King of Cups, it would be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But because your desires didn't manifest with the Virgo, you ended up jumping into something with this Queen or King of Cups. For others of you, you really uh, dove deep within to figure out exactly what it is you want. And you... you um, I'm 
very confused by this. I think some of you jumped into another relationship just to end the pain. And it didn't work out. Um, you guys are going to have to leave me comments, please, because this is very confusing for me. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Angels, why is the Four of Cups here? Why is Leo disappointed in love, discontented, unhappy? Yeah, I want you to look at something in this deck. If you look at this four of cups do you see how he's looking at that cup in the in the sky normally the the guy is sitting on the ground focusing on the three cups that are spilt over on the ground not noticing that the universe is gifting him with another another new beginning in love this person knows there's three cups on the ground they're not interested in what's there they want the one in that's that they feel is the gift so whoever whatever that is for you it's going to be different for all of you but whatever you feel is the true uh, gift in love for you that's what you're wanting and it's it's not what you have why is the four of cups here angels could be for some of you that you moved on into a committed relationship <sighs> okay I had <laughs> I had another scenario in my head and now it's disappeared that's what made you realize your true desires and it's that past person why is the four of cups here Oh, brother. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, this person, this is King or Queen. Again, it's, it's um, general. This person is pertinent in your life, in your thoughts, in your heart, in your world, whatever it is. Because you have the Queen of Pentacles twice now. And anytime you have a card twice in your spread, it's, it's, uh, it's a big player. So you were very disappointed in love by this person, whoever this is to you. Because you felt that, you know, you put a lot into this. You put a lot into the relationship. You really wanted it to work. And you felt that you were soulmates, that it was divinely guided. Maybe you wanted to commit to this person. Okay, I'm getting a totally different scenario here. Some of you wanted to commit to that person. You felt like this was your person. This was the person that would give you the Ten of Cups life. You wanted to commit to them, but you feel they snuck out. Maybe they left without, um, without really telling you what was going on or why they left. And that broke your heart. 
but it also caused you to go within and really think things over and and um, try to figure out what it was that you truly wanted and then possibly this king or queen of cups came along and that was you know a godsend for you it was the ten of cups it was beauty it was bright it was love at first sight you know one of those wow times but I can't help but think that that's fallen apart because your overall energy is transformation something that died something that ended is coming back around and it's a transformation and it's right next to this Queen of Pentacles again you oh, I'll get to this in the extended there's a lot of um, <laughs> reading down and crisscross because they keep taking me to these different directions that are going to give us um, more clarity in this Let's do the judgment card. Angels, why is the judgment card here? Yeah. Again, the world. The world is just like the judgment card. The world is all about cycles ending so new ones can begin. For some of you, I'm hearing that possibly you're really caught up with this ending with this Queen or King of Pentacles. And this is telling you that it had to happen. Same with judgment. It was karmic. The relationship, the, the time you had together, it, it brought about a transformation in you. It made changes and it allowed this new cycle to begin with someone new. why we're hashing this out in a reading now maybe you're not feeling not feeling it where you're at anymore and you're thinking that this queen or king of pentacles is where you need to be let's clarify the queen oh, the queen of pentacles and then i think we're going to go into the extended and see what we can find out in there for you Ooh. Okay. Yeah. This is someone that you want to offer your love to. This is someone you want back. Maybe not all of you, but there's a good chunk of you that, you know, like the way I read it the first time. This person is deep inside of you, in your heart. You can't let go of them. I'm surprised we don't have the Four of Pentacles here because it feels to me like you're really struggling to let go of this person. The Emperor. You're trying to stay strong. You're trying to be um, you're trying to what I'm hearing, I know this is not what the card means, but you're trying to hide behind that tough outer exterior but your heart's breaking because that's who you want and you feel like they just dropped you and walked away and you're not understanding what happened why it happened and that's probably part of why you can't move forward Oh, it's feeling very sad, Leo. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, there will be uh, a link up top here. It'll take you to my website, to the Extendeds. I hope to see you on the other side. I love you guys. I'll see you over there.